Stream Troopers here. So we just recently had a new issue with Amazon and I thought I'd uh, fill you in and let you all maybe check your carts just to be on the safe side. You know, it's ridiculous that when you buy something and you refuse the item that it ends up sending it to you later, three weeks later anyway, and then billing your account for it and you're wondering where did all that money go and why do I have an item I don't need. So, to start this off, I'll tell you the story real quick. The wife and I are building two new computers, or a sink, Ryzen 5, 2600s, RGB everything. We're building two new gaming streaming systems so we can better supply, better content, and have more fun. Yet, somewhere along the line, after she made her order, two cases, RGB fans, two six packs, some RAM, um, well, the two cases, and then there was the two Ryzen CPUs. She checked out, and the checkout, all of a sudden, it it took all the money that it was totaled for, but it didn't tell us immediately that it, it didn't send us one of the CPUs, but she, she's smart. She likes to check into her checkouts to make sure of what was and what isn't. And it showed in there that one of the Ryzen's was canceled. So it put it in the canceled bin or tab on your on your page and she was looking at we're trying to figure out why wouldn't it send two could figure it out so it didn't tell us anything at the time so I thought you know what I'll go on my amazon.ca account log in and I put the same CPU on there and I went and ordered it and it turns out that it can it said it wouldn't send it order cancelled cannot send duplicate of the same item to the same address which probably it has something to do with not having an Amazon Prime account or something like that I have no idea but it basically said no sorry you're screwed find it somewhere else or wait until enough time has elapsed for you to buy it again so I went to Newegg I bought my our Ryzen 5 2600 there I got it and we thought we were done we received everything we've ordered minus the CPU which we had to go through the chat section with Amazon to have them refund because they did take it for two CPUs on her account and we had to fight with them about it to refund that money and they did and they did a pretty good job and uh, it happened fairly quickly about five days and everything was fine even though I wasn't able to order the second CPU through Amazon so needless to say no time has passed. December 29th is when this had all started and here we are uh, at January 15th and all of a sudden I have a CPU at my door. No verification, no email, no anything. They say they sent them, I didn't see them and as soon as it shows up at my door my account got dinged for $245.20 and I'm wondering what the hell is going on? We don't need a third CPU, we already got everything we wanted. So I spent the next 24 the 36 hours not only through chat windows online with their service representatives but also on three separate phone calls with the service department trying to figure out what's going on and a little bit of humor into this is they were being a little dickish to me during that time up until I told them I'm a YouTube I'm a youtuber and I create content and I said this is perfect canon for YouTube based on the fact that you guys are great, but your checkout system is flawed, and people are gonna to wanna to know about this. So ultimately, uh, they straightened the issue out, we got it all figured out. Once I said that, they were all sweet and kind and totally helpful. So, geez, 24 hours. Uh, I said that, that they, sent, they sent me a slip, I printed off, I put it on the package, I mailed it back. The post office scans it, it's in their system now. I called them back. Spent another 45 minutes on the phone with the guy, arguing the point. But then, once again, I brought up the YouTuber thing, and he was helpful as hell. I mean, he actually physically did his job and went into the files, the previous conversations, dug everything up, found out what was going on, same stuff, same story, and realized that we're not somebody, I'm not somebody, or we aren't somebody who's out there trying to rip them off or get something for free. So, Short story is now, their cart is flawed. Check your cart. If it will not allow you a duplicate item, 
That means it's keeping it on file. Your name, your account, your payment, your information, everything is stored. And once enough of time has elapsed, it is going to automatically bill you and mail you that item or items. So keep a close eye on your products, on your page, because they're telling me that there's something in there that you're supposed to check or do or something like that. You gotta dig through your canceled items or your items that are not gonna be sent to you in any shape, way, shape, or form. And you're supposed to have the knowledge of their website to be able to check something or uncheck something so that it doesn't send it to you. And I told them that they should tell their tech department that is not something they should leave up to the customer. That is something they should have up there automatically. If it's been refused, it's refused. You have to re-enter it into your cart to purchase it again. That is the way it should be. It shouldn't be an automatic payment system. That's like stealing out of your bank account. So I said, get them to put a big red button that says stop and see what happens. So uh, I just wanted you to hear about this. I wanted to tell you to keep an eye out for your information. Don't get me wrong, I like Amazon. They have fastest shipping I've ever seen. They have great prices. They're always giving you deals. Um, their customer service is what I would say 50-50 up until you give them a reason to be nice to you. Then they are 80-20, which means about well, 80% on the ball. So maybe try a little bit of that and it'll get you a little bit further. And uh, when you get light the fire under their butts, they'll get the job done. So other than that, keep shopping there. Great place, I am. I'm still building my system through Amazon. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope that you will share and like, comment, subscribe, do this and that. I mean, I am on Twitter now. Uh, stream Troopers at Troopers Stream, which is kind of weird, on Twitter. So. Uh, Thank you very much, and I hope to hear or see you or hear from you or any of that jazz. Have a good one. Raindrops.